Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Lubatel 166B. This camera was made in the beginning of the 1980s. It was an upgrade to the Lubatel 166, which uh, I believe the only difference is the self timer. Um, I'm going to give it a little spin just so you can really see like everything, all the little features on it. I'll just set it down there. It comes with this cap, which of course you're going to take off, and uh, we're going to look at some of the lens functions. This camera is a waist level viewfinder, so you basically have to look down instead of through the camera, and it uses uh, mirrors so that you can see what's in front of you. Uh, this camera views through the top lens and the picture will be taken with the bottom lens. They both focus with each other because they're connected by gears and little gear teeth. To load film, you have to open this back part. Uh, it's just like a little plastic thing that's holding it, so it's not too difficult to open. You load the new film into the bottom spool and you move your empty one to the top. Your advanced knob is on the side right here. You can see it's got the key and then you just close it. There is a little red window here that you just slide open and you can see all the numbers and um, advanced signals, uh, even from new film. Uh, Lamography film works really well um, with this camera. I mean, considering it is by Lomo. On the lens, you'll see a series of levers. This first one is your shutter. So you just cock it down and then press and it'll flick back into place. Um, this is your shutter speed right here. And then below it, right here, this will be your aperture. Um, so don't forget about these little levers on the side. Also next to that is the self timer, um, but you can play with it. You can see all the numbers are on the side here. And then for your focal length, you will see it by looking down and turning it like this. This is in meters, not feet, so that's something to keep in mind when shooting with um, a Soviet camera. The first lens up here is the viewfinder lens, so this is what you're looking out of um, in order to take the picture, and then the bottom one is the one that you actually take the picture with. Uh, make sure it's clean though on the inside because you don't want any dust on it. Also, I forgot to mention, um, when you open and you want to see what your photo is going to look like, you can either look through that little keyhole and um, push down the front, or you can look at it through here, because this will tell you kind of what is going to be in the picture. And also there is a little magnifying glass in here so that you can nail down your focus. I don't think it's very helpful. Um, it's actually really hard to focus on this because I can't tell the difference. Um, but I just kind of guess how far away the subject is. If it's like a mountain or something far away and you want the whole thing, uh, just put it on infinity and you'll be fine. On this side, you'll see this is just a little reminder of uh, how the ISO works and how to light. Now it's time to show you what you're probably going to skip to and not watch the video. Here are the pictures.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more film related stuff. I have a few other videos planned for both this camera and two of my other cameras that I have. So, hope you enjoyed.